Hello friends, let us understand the projectile motion using the projection of angry birds. Now, we know that whenever any body is projected in the gravitational force, in the influence of gravitational force, my horizontal motion is converted into the projectile motion. Now, we will be projecting angry bird at some angle theta naught. Now, it reaches its maximum height. Have you noticed? The velocity of my angry bird is converted and it's resolved into two components. One is horizontal velocity Vx and another is my vertical velocity Vy. My horizontal velocity always remains constant with respect to time but my vertical velocity that is height of projectile varies with time. Now these variation can be given and the distance at any instant can be calculated with the formula y is equals to v naught sin theta naught t minus half g t square and my x velocity always remains constant and the distance x at any instant can be given with the formula x is equals to v naught sin theta naught sorry cos theta naught v naught cos theta naught into t now the time taken to reach this maximum height is given by the formula Tm is equals to V naught sin theta naught by G. Now, as soon as I'll resume the motion, my projectile will complete its motion and it will come to the ground. Before that, just notice the formula for the maximum height. It is given by V naught square sin square theta by 2G. Now, let us see the remaining motion. As soon as my projectile reaches the ground, it will complete its full path and we call it a range of projectile. A range of projectile is given by the formula V naught square sin 2 theta naught divided by G. Time taken to complete this whole motion is given by 2 times the maximum time and that is equals to 2 into V naught sin theta naught by G. Hope you understood. 